The law of karma Remember this in your mind Avoid the bad Do only good Purify your mind When you die you'll go to heaven You have to know And you must know Life's in the cycle Of samsara There is no way To get away Under the law The law of karma โลกเป็นนักเรียนอนุบาลฝันในฝันวิทยาผ่านทางจารย์ดาวธรรมโลกมีพี่น้อง I am a student of the dream and dream kindergarten via satellite I have six siblings I am the fourth child I have three elder brothers and two younger sisters Our family has been pursuing perfection with the community as my youngest sister has been our virtue friend My younger sister joined the temple since she was a student at Ram k i m h a n g University. She was an officer in the temple's drinking water department in 1984. Later in 1987, she joined the temple's sixth training of volunteer Kali and Amida program. She then urged everyone in the family for making merit with the temple ever since. Father was quite slow and unorganized, but was kind and didn't drink alcohol. However, he smoked cigarettes every day since he was a teenager. Father was an easy-going person and never objected to anyone in making merit. Whoever invited him to make merit, he would regularly make it with much or little contribution. And I used to bring the father to Wat Phra d a m a k a a n d to the meditation retreat at Suan Bui, Chiang Mai Province once. When he turned 72, he suffered from lung cancer. During his stay in the hospital, my younger sister, who was an apasika or female staff at the temple, was taking care of him. Father felt uncomfortable and could hardly breathe. My younger sister gave him meditation guidance to listen through his earphones. He then slowly calmed down. On father's last day, my second brother took a turn to take care of him and didn't let him listen to the tapes. Father died of lung cancer at the age of 74. My parents were selling soft furnishing materials, beddings. My mother mostly managed the business. She was diligent. She minded the children and did all the household chores. Mother was virtuous and when she made merit or when she was to offer things to monks, she would regularly make them herself and offer more delicate things to monks than the ones she used herself. Mother joined in making merit with the Makaya Temple since k a t h i n a ceremony to buy the land at 62.50 baht a square meter. Most of the time she went to the retreat at the temple in Samutsa Korn province, she came to the Makaya Temple only for big ceremonies. Towards the end of her life, she chanted and meditated every night. She said she saw herself looking very radiant meditating in her stomach. She meditated every day continuously for two years. Later, she had a headache, blurred vision, couldn't walk straight, and vomited. She was taken to a hospital and was diagnosed as having a brain tumor and had to have an operation. Mother was much concerned about the eldest and the third brothers because they tended to disagree about the inheritance, and the third brother had incurred lots of debts. 
But as my younger sister who joined the Makaya temple already at that time talked mother out of worries and concern about her children, mother then meditated every day before the operation. After the operation, the mother had to stay in the Iku and had to rely on a breathing device and nobody was allowed to visit her. My eldest brother was very worried about mother and had discussed with the doctor asking permission to visit mother. The doctor allowed him to do so. Brother told mother to meditate while lying. Mother laid still as if she was unconscious for about seven days. Mother passed away on Sunday, January 1st, 2004 at the age of 63. No one had seen her last moment. My husband is a nice person but had little education and not very intelligent. His father died when he was two years old. He lived with his mother. They didn't have a house of their own. They had to live with someone else at a sugar factory. His mother got a job, climbing the coconut trees to collect sugar from coconuts to make palm sugar. Once she was climbing a coconut tree she inadvertently dropped the knife, which nearly hit his head, but he escaped still it pierced his left foot and left him with a mark till today. When my husband was about five years old, he was very naughty. His mother used to tie him to a tree and made him inhale chili grilled in a coconut shell until he choked. When he turned seven, he had to live a temple as a monk's attendant and lived on the leftovers. He studied at the temple school and took care of himself at a tender age. He used to suffer from scabies and his body was covered with pus until his friends refused to get close to him. The abbot of the temple used to apply his body with herbal clay. He gradually recovered. When he was 14 years old, he worked in a court factory and used to sleep in the plant, which was covered with engine oil. I felt very sorry for him. Then he worked in an ice cream factory but earned little money which couldn't meet his ends. He had to eat ice cream for food and slept in the factory. At the age of 16 he worked as a crew in a fishing boat in Mahache district with a better income of around 6,000 baht. He let his mother use his salary. Whereas himself while at sea used his share of money from selling fish that the boat owner gave to him. Each time he spent 15 days in the sea until the boat reached Singapore and stayed on land for two days and went back to the sea for another 15 days. He did that for about five years. When he turned 21 he was recruited as a seaman in the Navy in Chandaburi province for two years. During his days off he helped my third brother selling materials and we met each other there. At that time I was in my first year at university. After he was discharged from the Navy, he applied for a volunteer force and was employed as a public servant. Due to his honesty, he got to serve a senior officer until I completed my studies. I worked for 10 years and he still followed me regularly until I took pity of him and married him at the age of 38 and he was 39 years old. The senior officer whom he worked for had organized everything for us and the senior officer had an oversee posting. My husband obviously lost his position, but he still had some superannuation. It was the same time my son was born. My husband had to become a house husband and look after our son whereas I became a breadwinner. My husband loves the family very much. As he felt so ashamed he did all the chores including washing clothes, cooking and minding our child. I felt nothing for him. Moreover, sometimes I felt irritated and angry with him when he did something I disliked. But he didn't get angry and also told me to calm down. I worked as a public servant in a government department. In my position. I received some bribe money of which my share in some months was more than my normal salary. This money had to be shared and passed on to officers in charge who held higher status. This practice has been done for a long time even before I joined the public service. I used this money for the family's needs and helped many of my relatives. 
Questions. What chemic retribution made my mother suffer from brain tumor? My mother meditated and saw herself. Was it her celestial body? Mother meditated before the operation, while she was unconscious for seven days. How did she feel? Was she mindful? What was her vision? Where is she now? We dedicated merit to her. Has she received them? Does she has any message for us? What meritorious deed made my husband became a royal page but lost his job because that senior officer had an overseas posing? How did that senior officer relate to my husband as they were attached to each other like mother and son to this day? My son is nine years old. What chemic retribution made him have allergies at this young age? He often sneezes and has a runny nose. He is doing quite well in his studies but very naughty. He hardly sits still. Even at the temple, he was told to meditate but he couldn't sit for more than five minutes. What causes that? How can this be rectified? Does he have ordination merit? My youngest sister pursues perfection at the temple for some time but left to do business. How did she pursue perfection with the community? Would she have opportunity to set herself up? How did my husband, my son and I make merit with the community? I make merit with faith but my mind was not quite happy. How could I rectify this? Let's listen to dream and dream. I closed my eyes, dreamed and woke up with these answers. When you tell anybody the story like a tale, it will make anyone know more about retribution, law of karma. Mother had brain tumor because of the camel from killing animals for food in the past life such as hitting fish had came to fruition. Mother used to see herself in meditation. Yes, that was actually her refined body. The fact that mother meditated before the operation made her worry less. While she was unconscious for seven days it was as if she was asleep. Mother died like someone who fell asleep and woke up in the middle of a golden palace in the second level of heaven or Tavatimza. She is an angel due to the merit she performed in Buddhism ever since. She has received the merit dedicated to her. This made her have more celestial wealth. She is very happy and has received all the merit dedicated to her. Father suffered from lung cancer due to the cigarette smoking camera in the present life mainly including the camera from killing animals for food and for selling in the past life, came to fruition. Father died with a bright vision, was reborn as an air spirit due to the merit you made for him and the merit he sometime performed including the merit dedicated to him. He said that he understood more about merit and demerit. He regretted that he made little merit but has received the merit dedicated to him. Father didn't like the second brother but he looked after father in the last period of his life. Father didn't really dislike him. Father loves all the children but this brother was quite naughty. But he loved father and has gratitude as such he came to look after father. In addition in the past life he was father's friend and used to support each other. They argued sometimes, reconciled other times. But in that life father supported him. Therefore he was born as father's son. They didn't have any kamic retribution with each other. Your husband has dull faculty, little education and had a hard time when young. His mother tied him to a tree and made him inhale chilies grilled in the coconut shell. Was hit in the foot by knife had scabies until his body was covered with us and often suffered from pneumonia because in the past life he was a wealthy but moody man when he was in a bad mood he had to go at his children grandchildren and his servants he punished them by binding wrongdoers and whipped them then he put chilies in the coconut shell burned it and made them inhale until choke Sometimes when he got angry he would throw knife at them but they escaped so the knife hit their feet instead. In addition, he would swear at his servants and didn't look after them well. He let them sleep in a moist place. For pets also had the same treatments. This made him suffer from lung disease. 
He also liked to drink a glass of alcohol before meals. This made him thick. His stinginess made him have a hard life when young. Your husband served a senior officer well because of the merit he had from helping relatives in the life that he was a stingy wealthy man came to fruition. Later he was unemployed because the senior officer had an overseas posting. The senior officer loved and was kind to him kite mother and son because they help each other in this life and also in the past life when they were relatives. Your family is different from other families. Example. Your husband had to do domestic chores on your behalf. You are the breadwinner because in the past life you were husband and wife. The wife liked to make merit by herself, whereas the husband only rejoiced in the merit. When these merits came to fruition the situation is as is now. In that life you were the wife of your husband was like this life. You tend to get angry at him without any reason because of the past life's camera that he liked to release his anger by having a go at his children, relatives and servants in the life when he was a wealthy man. Came to fruition and it is your camera to treat him like this because of exhaustion and stress from work. Therefore, don't do that to him, because he loves you and also this bad habit will not follow you into the next life. And if you do that often it will become your habit and you will be an irritable person. The bribe money that you got from your position will bring some kama. Wherever the kama comes to fruition there will be blood related disease. Systemic lupus erythematosus slept for instance. Dot. But when combing with the killing cam or intentionally commiting fraud there would be cancer in the blood or bones cancer for instance. If you make merit with this money. His merit will curtail some of the camera but when the merit comes to fruition you will be wealthy but you will suffer from the above mentioned diseases. Therefore you should accrue a lot of merit because it is hard to lead a pure and complete life like a cut diamond. On the mundane level, your life would be a mixture of merit and demerit. At the moment you work hard and the opportunity to gain a higher position is hard because your merit power is only at this level. As you just did it so don't be discouraged to be diligent in accruing every merit with all your strength and resolve well. Set for the better in the next life because life spent in this world is short for everyone. Your nine-year-old son suffers from allergies when young, tends to sneeze and has runny nose because in the past life when he was young he purposely harms animals. For instance, Sometimes he got small insects to fight such as crickets, sometimes he deliberately splashed dogs and cats with water and sometimes he threw them into the water. For instance, this camera comes to fruition. He is doing quite well in his studies but couldn't be still even at the temple because a child at this age is like this, which is better than a motionless child. He has short ordination merit. You should support him well. Your younger sister was pursuing perfection with the community for a while and left the temple to do business. She used to join in making merit with the community. In the previous Buddha era, she was the daughter of a good family. She had a habit of being bored then wanted a change for many lives. When she was a householder and suffered then she felt sick of it and wanted to lead a celibate life. But when she led a monastic life, she felt bored and wanted to be a householder like this. She has enough merit to keep herself well but if she is careless and does not accumulate more merit, she will be in a difficult situation when the merit she has is exhausted. Yourself, your husband and son used to make merit with the community as a type of supporter in the provision division according to your mood. Sometimes you would. Sometime you wouldn't make merit with faith but your mind is not joyful because you are used to the habit of being irritable due to the stress from being a breadwinner. You should rectify this quickly if not when the merit came to fruition it will not be powerful. For before you acquire any wealth, you would have to feel annoyed with something first. As you know this fact, you should keep your mind clear by meditation regularly. In this life we meet again. 
you should pursue perfections in all merit with fullest efforts and make a resolution to follow our community to Tusita or the fourth level of heaven, in the special merit zone and never stray away from our community.